Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we'll delve into the seven internal forces that can shake narcissists to their core. These are the things that might catch them off guard. Image. But before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to our channel to join us on this journey of understanding. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. We're dedicated to providing informative and engaging videos, so don't miss out. Your support means the world to us, and we're thrilled to have you here. Now let's get into the topic at hand. First things first, let go of trying to hold on to the narcissist. Narcissists tend to have an inflated sense of self. They believe they possess an irresistible charm that can enchant anyone they desire. Their assumption is that anyone they set their sights on will be spellbound by their allure and eagerly want to be in their company. However, this self-perception is put to the test when you cease your efforts to pursue them. Your withdrawal challenges their perceived invincibility, causing them to question themselves. This disruption exposes their underlying insecurities, which in turn leads to a deep disdain towards you. Their reluctance to confront these insecurities fuels their reaction, whether it be anger or a desperate attempt to win you back. If their attempts to regain your attention prove fruitless, they become enraged. In their minds, your rejection forces them to confront the anxieties they'd long tried to avoid. Consequently, ignoring a narcissist deals a heavy blow to their ego. They grapple with the question of why you wouldn't want to be with them when, in their distorted view, everyone else clangers for their attention. This rejection strikes at the very core of their false self-image. Next up, catching narcissists off guard. Narcissists thrive on predictability. It's their playground for manipulation and control. Every move and word is meticulously planned, as they know precisely how to elicit certain reactions from you. They've mastered the art of pushing your buttons, anticipating your responses with eerie accuracy, yet throwing them off balance by straying from the expected script and responding in an unpredictable manner that disrupts their carefully constructed reality. They become unsettled because unexpected actions and reactions strip away their sense of control. Narcissists dread the prospect of being exposed when faced with the unexpected. They go to great lengths to conceal their true selves to avoid scrutiny. So when you suddenly counter their tactics with a clever retort or remain composed in the face of their provocations, the narcissist's grip weakens significantly. They're left floundering, unable to navigate this unfamiliar terrain of unpredictability which greatly unnerves them and leaves them feeling vulnerable and exposed. Point 3. Redefining boundaries and moving forward. For a narcissist, this is unbearable. They despise being relegated to the sidelines. Your decision to sever ties deals a significant blow to their ego. By cutting off all contact, you've essentially stripped away their sense of importance and control. This challenges their perception of themselves as untouchable and omnipotent. Narcissists thrive on feeling superior and indispensable, so your departure shatters this illusion and elicits a strong reaction from them. Their desire to reconnect with you stems not from a genuine desire to change or mend things, but rather from a desperate need to regain the upper hand and assert their dominance. Should a narcissist attempt to win you back, stand firm in your decision to move on. Don't be swayed by empty promises or superficial changes. They are merely attempts to placate you and maintain their grip on you. Forge ahead without looking back, knowing that your departure has dealt a significant blow to their self-esteem, making their recovery all the more challenging. Point 4. The Narcissist's Illusion of Infallibility and Inflexibility Narcissists often exhibit an unwavering belief in their own righteousness and an unwillingness to entertain differing perspectives. 
They live in a self-constructed bubble where they perceive themselves as the sole possessors of truth and wisdom. However, this perception is deeply flawed, as we all know. No one, including narcissists, can claim to have all the answers or possess complete knowledge. There's always room for growth and understanding. Yet, narcissists adamantly reject this notion, clinging to the belief that they are omniscient and beyond reproach. They parade their supposed knowledge without truly comprehending it. When confronted with evidence that contradicts their beliefs, such as in a debate or argument, narcissists are often left reeling. Their inability to tolerate being proven wrong, especially by someone they perceive as inferior, deals a significant blow to their ego. It shakes the very foundation of their self-perception as the ultimate authority. To them, defeat is inconceivable, and they will go to great lengths to maintain the illusion of superiority. Have you ever witnessed a narcissist being caught off guard or stunned by revelation? Share your experiences in the comments below. Your stories could offer solace and inspiration to fellow survivors facing similar challenges. Point 5. Embrace emotional neutrality in interactions. Narcissists thrive on reactions, feeding off any emotional response they can elicit, whether it's admiration, anger, sadness, or resentment. Your emotional reactions serve as their sustenance, boosting their sense of control and superiority. They cling to you like a parasite, relying on your emotional energy more than you realize. However, when you refuse to engage in emotional exchanges and instead adopt an air of indifference, like a nondescript grey rock, it disrupts their usual dynamic. They're accustomed to drama and turmoil, so your lack of emotional response throws them off balance. Some may persist in their efforts to provoke a reaction from you, while others may grow weary and move on, finding your lack of engagement tedious. Ordinary individuals may find your emotional detachment unsettling as it challenges their sense of control and power. They struggle to comprehend your lack of emotional responsiveness, which leaves them feeling impotent and frustrated. Have you ever practiced emotional neutrality in your interactions with a narcissist? Share your experiences in the comments below. Your insights could offer guidance to others navigating similar situations. Point 6. Thriving without them, living your best life. Narcissists crave dependence, desiring you to believe you're nothing without them, ensnared in their control, condemned to perpetual darkness. Your phoenix-like ascent from the ashes, growing stronger and more resilient, is a direct affront to their desires. Overcoming narcissistic abuse, embodying the phoenix as spirit, Embracing your journey and humanity, shedding the self-doubt they implanted, and banishing their negative influence symbolizes liberation. Witnessing your transformation is their undoing. They loathe your success, which outshines them and reveals your radiant existence. Your radiant glow, emerging from the shadows, healing, and flourishing after their abuse, undermines their claims of omnipotence and invincibility. Your triumph disproves their arrogance, a bitter pill they cannot swallow. Seventh and final point. The impact of kindness, absent in narcissists. Trauma has molded narcissists into beings of darkness, projecting their pain onto others. They seek to shatter your spirit and revel in your misery. Yet, extending kindness, Love and compassion, despite such adversity, unnerves and bewilders them. Incapable of experiencing these emotions themselves, they doubt their own capacity for goodness. Your unwavering kindness serves as a stark contrast to their darkness, forcing them to confront their life choices and consider their own inadequacies. Though your kindness may not inspire them, it exposes the stark contrast between their darkness and your light, leaving them reeling in disbelief. Welcome to this in-depth exploration of the seven pivotal factors 
that can profoundly unsettle a narcissist. As we've observed, narcissists are not easily taken aback. Their self-absorption often blinds them to the impact of their actions on others, cocooning them in their own reality. However, there exist certain circumstances and behaviours that have the power to surprise and jolt them out of their complacency. The seven points we've outlined represent carefully orchestrated manoeuvres capable of thoroughly destabilising a narcissist. We trust that this discussion has shed light on the complexities of navigating relationships with narcissists. As we draw this episode to a close, we hope you've gleaned valuable insights. Dealing with narcissists can be a daunting task, and our aim is to equip you with the knowledge to feel more empowered and in control. We invite you to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below, as your unique perspectives may offer solace and guidance to others facing similar challenges. Remember, your journey is not solitary, and your voice holds the power to uplift and inspire. Until we reconvene, embark on your healing journey with determination and optimism. Healing is the cornerstone of resilience, paving the way for a brighter and more fulfilling future. Rest assured, you possess the strength and resilience to overcome any obstacles that may come your way. Let us embark on this journey of healing together, fortified by the knowledge that recovery is within reach. Stay strong, and we look forward to our next conversation. Undoubtedly, the potent emotion of regret is a universal experience that touches each of us at some point in our lives. It encompasses a profound sense of disappointment or sadness arising from the recognition that our actions, whether in the past or present, have led to unfavourable outcomes. This intense sentiment has the potential to induce lasting changes in our mindset, significantly influencing our overall mental health and well-being. The central focus of this exploration is to probe an intriguing question do narcissists genuinely experience remorse when they lose someone? To unravel this, it becomes essential to grasp the essence of regret and contemplate whether it is conceivable for narcissists to grapple with it. Regret often emanates from feelings of guilt or sorrow, rooted in the belief that we could have made different choices in the past. It involves reflecting on our life's journey through the rearview mirror, contemplating alternative paths that could have altered the course of events. There are two divergent manifestations of this emotion. For some, regret serves as a potent motivator, inspiring a desire to alter behaviour and make different choices in the future. Conversely, for others, it transforms into a persistent source of negative thoughts and self-doubt, casting shadows over their present and future endeavours. The ability to overcome sorrow significantly hinges on an individual's self-awareness and emotional intelligence. Engaging in self-reflection, understanding one's emotions, and adeptly managing them are essential components. Essentially, it involves discerning a path forward by examining past mistakes and extracting valuable lessons. Now let's delve into the complex realm of narcissists, and whether they genuinely experience remorse when losing someone. This question, much like the nature of narcissists themselves, is intricate. Narcissists can be likened to leeches, drawing energy and resources from the lives of those around them to sustain themselves. They excel at concealing their predatory nature, projecting an image of invincibility. However, beneath this facade, lies a stark reality. Narcissists are fragile, overly sensitive individuals grappling with profound insecurity. They often feel like empty containers, wrestling with a pervasive sense of emptiness. C coping with grief and loss proves exceptionally challenging for them. Despite their outward toughness, narcissists can indeed feel sorrow. However, their perception and expression of this emotion differ significantly from conventional understandings of regret. For narcissists, 
the sorrow is less about losing the person and more about forfeiting the benefits that person provided. They lament relinquishing the love, care and approval they received, regretting the loss of their self-serving source. Even if they don't miss the person, they mourn the contributions that person make to their self-centered pursuits. Recognizing this crucial distinction is vital when exploring the intersection of narcissists and guilt. Regret is a universal emotion, yet its manifestation and interpretation can vary widely based on an individual's personality and circumstances. This discrepancy becomes particularly evident when considering narcissists and their relationship with guilt. Although they may experience regret, the nature of this remorse is distinct, stemming from their self-centered worldview. For narcissists, it's not the loss of someone that troubles them, but the forfeiture of something that fulfilled their desires and bolstered their self-esteem. Grasping this subtle distinction is crucial to comprehending the emotional landscape of narcissists. Individuals characterized by an inflated sense of self-importance and a profound lack of empathy navigate feelings in a manner vastly different from the broader population. Their perception and expression of regret deviate significantly from conventional norms. Narcissists, due to their limited understanding of how their actions impact others, fail to grasp the full consequences of their behavior. In their world, where personal desires and needs reign supreme, others are merely avenues to fulfill their wants. Their self-centered perspective prevents them from feeling genuine remorse when losing someone, as they fail to recognize each person as a unique individual with distinct needs, desires, and emotions. It's not uncommon for a narcissist to articulate sentiments that resemble sadness after parting ways with someone. However, these expressions of regret are more strategic maneuvers than genuine emotional responses. The narcissist may employ this tactic to induce guilt or assign responsibility to the person they've lost, aiming to regain control of the situation. Alternatively, they might attempt to lure someone back through deceptive claims of transformation or by employing flattery and manipulation. It is crucial to recognize that these seemingly remorseful expressions lack sincerity because they are not rooted in authentic sorrow or guilt. So, does a narcissist truly feel remorse about losing someone? The answer involves multiple facets. While they may experience a form of sorrow, it manifests in a manner distinct from what most people would identify or comprehend. When individuals face adversity, such as the end of a relationship or job loss, they often reflect on their actions. For a narcissist, however, the absence of regret stems not from losing the person per se, but from losing the benefits that person provided. The narcissist's worldview is akin to peering through a narrow tunnel. They only acknowledge and value individuals who contribute to their false self. If you served as the narcissist's primary source of attention, financial support, sexual satisfaction, or any other desired commodity, you were deemed a valuable supply. The narcissist's motivation to maintain the connection is not rooted in care for the relationship, but in the perceived value you hold for them. They see you as a means to obtain what their internal resources may lack. When a narcissist expresses regret for losing someone, it doesn't stem from a genuine longing for that individual, but rather from a sense of loss for the favorable contributions that person made to their life. Their remorse revolves around the realization that they didn't do enough to retain both the person and the resources that person provided. While this emotion resembles regret, it diverges significantly from the typical human experience of regret grounded in empathy or guilt. Instead, it is rooted in the pursuit of personal desires and susceptibility to manipulation. Understanding the intricate psyche of narcissists hinges on recognizing this distinction. When questioning a narcissist about their regret over losing someone, it's crucial to grasp that their regret doesn't center on the person, 
but on the benefits that person supplied. This perspective on regret may appear peculiar and challenging for many to comprehend, but it epitomises the authentic emotional landscape of narcissists. It underscores their limited understanding and self-centred nature. Their regret doesn't stem from a genuine concern for the person, but from the missed opportunity to exploit someone for personal gain. In the complex world inhabited by narcissists, relationships lack the foundation of love, respect or genuine care. Instead, they serve as a means for the ego to obtain desired outcomes, a source of value exploited to fulfill their needs. Expressing regret for losing someone is not an indication of genuine care, but rather a recognition of losing a useful asset that consistently benefited them. Similar to anyone striving to maximize their life experiences, a narcissist prefers retaining an existing partner over seeking a new one. This parallels the concept that maintaining an employee is more convenient than acquiring a new one. Narcissists may encounter challenges in finding a new partner willing to tolerate their manipulative tendencies and provide the same level of time, attention and resources. Consequently, they opt to preserve the existing supply line. The loss of someone who functioned as a caretaker or a reliable source of resources may evoke a sense of regret in a narcissist. However, their genuine longing is directed toward the partner who showered them with boundless love and admiration. While they may regret the practical aspects, such as having to pay for services, their true remorse lies in the absence of someone catering to all their needs. Narcissists exhibit a uniformity in their dependence on others to fulfill their needs and feed their inflated ego. Their adeptness at finding new sources is driven by a lack of concern for the individual's identity as long as they can meet the narcissist's desires. In the narcissist's realm, considerations for your well-being or assistance are overshadowed by pure egotism, where fulfilling personal objectives takes precedence, a manifestation of the most extreme form of self-centeredness. When it comes to emotions like guilt, Narcissists don't experience it in the same way as most individuals. While they may express regret, it lacks the depth of genuine loss, remorse or guilt. A narcissist's regret often revolves around thoughts like I should have handled things differently to retain this person in my life. However, this regret doesn't stem from a sense of emotional loss but rather from the recognition that the relationship served their interests. Rather than mourning the end of a meaningful connection, their regret is rooted in a strategic error that led to the depletion of a valuable resource. If you recently severed ties with a narcissist, they may attempt to reconnect with you using deceptive tactics. They might employ phrases like, I'm sorry I allowed this to happen, or I had a breakthrough after God spoke to me last night and realized this. However, it's crucial to recognize these statements as falsehoods designed to manipulate you. Their aim is to induce guilt and shatter any hope you might have had for their genuine transformation. Narcissists lack the capacity to genuinely feel sorrow since they lack a moral or ethical foundation to guide their actions. People naturally possess a moral compass that guides them in distinguishing right from wrong, aiding in decision-making. This internal framework helps differentiate between truth and falsehood, assess successes and failures, and determine appropriate behavior in social interactions. Our moral guide informs us of what to embrace or avoid, shaping our ethical principles. Contrary to individuals with a moral compass, Narcissists lack this crucial ethical skill. Their absence of morals drives them to persist in maintaining a false image, even when it contradicts reality. Narcissists are solely focused on themselves, indifferent to the impact of their actions on others, resulting in a lack of genuine remorse or regret. Mourning someone's death becomes futile 
when they fail to acknowledge and respect your true identity. These individuals only value the energy and resources you provide, utilizing you as a means to fulfill their own needs. Recognizing the deceptive strategies employed by narcissists is the initial step in breaking free from their manipulative grasp. It's crucial to understand that a narcissist's expressions of sorrow lack authentic remorse. Instead, they are calculated maneuvers intended to regain control or extract more resources. Their sadness stems from losing access to what you offered, not from losing you as an individual. To navigate a relationship with a narcissist is arduous, fraught with pain and confusion. Achieving improvement requires a comprehensive understanding of narcissistic behavior, viewing it through the lens of control and manipulation. The key lies in realizing that their expressions of regret, apologies, and promises of change are devoid of authenticity. I'm genuinely eager to hear about your personal encounters and the specific words your narcissist used to express remorse. Your unique experiences and insights hold significance, and sharing your story can provide valuable understanding and support to others. By leaving a comment below, you have the opportunity to delve into your own journey, a topic I plan to explore more thoroughly in an upcoming episode. Your experiences contribute to our collective comprehension and guide us on the path to healing. In conclusion, it's crucial to recognize that when narcissists claim to be sorry for losing someone, their feelings and expressions of remorse markedly differ from ours. Lacking empathy, narcissists struggle to comprehend the emotional impact of their actions on those around them. Viewing others as expendable tools, they remain devoid of genuine regret or guilt when parting ways with someone. Frequently, the display of sorrow by narcissists is not a sincere manifestation of regret, but rather a manipulative tactic to reclaim dominance and control. Their apologies for the pain caused and the ensuing problems are often insincere, stemming from a self devoid of authentic remorse or concern. When dealing with a narcissist, it's imperative to be vigilant. Recognize these warning signs and refrain from falling prey to their manipulative strategies. Kindly contribute your thoughts, questions, and feedback in the comment section. Your engagement will contribute to creating a community that empathizes with and supports those who have experienced narcissistic abuse. If you found value in this discussion, please express your appreciation by liking, commenting, and sharing it with others who may benefit. Your active involvement and support are highly appreciated, amplifying the reach of these resources to a wider audience. Lastly, remember to click the subscribe button for updates on our forthcoming discussions and explorations into the intricate realm of narcissism and emotional recovery. Until our next encounter, let's persist on our journey towards healing and understanding. Wishing you a wonderful day and always remember that you're not navigating this journey alone.